I feel so guilty for leaving my kids and going to work all day. Now, that's something you'd expect to hear working mommies say. But what about dads? Why don't we give opportunities to dads to express daddy guilt? Part of opening up the conversation is opening up a bunch of touchy points when it comes to masculinity and when it comes to the man's role in the relationship in the family. Sure, sure. And we've been misdefining roles for a long, long time. You know, the deal is, I don't like to talk about in terms of masculine and feminine. I like to talk about that there is a business side to parenting and that there is a personal side to parenting. And the unfortunate thing that happens is a lot of times one parent will take on one of those predominant roles and the other parent will take on the other. And because mothers have been social, socially stereotyped as more nurturing and men have more you know, business-like and we've taken on traditionally, right? Mm -hmm. But great parents have both of those sides and abilities within each of them, right? That I can do the business stuff, which is scheduling, which is discipline, right? Which is chores, which is managing stuff. I can also do the personal stuff, which is connecting, which is nurturing, which is putting a band-aid, which is cuddling, right? Which is my wife uh, or my daughter. She's right now, she's 16. She's on a mission trip to China with uh, abandoned, handicapped kids, uh, girls in this Chinese orphanage. And it's you know, a long trip. I've taken them to Asia, so she was a little experienced. But I'm praying over her as she's about to leave, and I'm crying, and I don't feel anything any less than masculine what i feel like just is a parent back when i was in college at the university of texas in the uh, early 90s and my dad was taking me up uh, after the summer and taking all my stuff with me and i remember and i had lived in a huge house with 12 other guys this big big house and when he dropped me off we all saw each other and we hadn't seen each other all summer and we gave each other these huge bear hugs right like hey man what's up you know and it was just very normal for us well me and my dad we hadn't hugged ever, yeah, you know, ever. And it came time for my dad to go to go say goodbye. And after he had seen all of these men, incredibly strong men, UT football players, were crying out, hugging each other. He kind of reached out and wanted to participate. But like you said, he had never been given permission. Certainly, had never been taught right how right. to do that in an authentic way. Right. It was well, a major moment for us. And but that's he incredible. Into and, it. and Ken, he did. that's something. Yeah. That's something, Ken, your three children won't have to say about their daddy, that they didn't get enough hugs. And I think, again, uh, we're talking about different generations. I, ha I have to laugh out. My mom gives the, she's the most loving person in the whole world, but she's a 50s mommy. She gives the saddest little hugs. She's getting better with her <laughs> hugs over the years. But um, it, it, it's just something that you have to grow into, into the, the reality of 2013, which is a good thing.